Good afternoon. We're back with more Marvel Snap. Beginning the afternoon at rank 56, I gained one cube off video from the last video. Playing an ongoing deck today that relies on playing in two lanes and uses Warpath and Spectrum for the finisher. So we'll see how it goes. I'm a bit handicapped in my collection right now. I don't really want to play Dino. And I don't have Storm or Infinite, and I don't have Cloak to play movement. So, I'm playing this ongoing deck for a bit, and hopefully I'll pick up cards that I need soon. Now, with the ongoing deck, we want to build a lane. I want to build two lanes. Go with Lizard to start. I'm not running Killmonger in this one, but I am running Shang-Chi. Well, that's likely to be good for my opponent if he's playing Zhu, though he could also be playing Destruction. Looks like it's Destruction. So that's one card destroyed. want to keep track of how cheap death is going to get. And my opponent is snapping. It's possible that he's a bot too because the bots like to snap early if they're winning lanes and they like to play destruction decks. So I can play Iron Man Claw. Which wouldn't be bad. My opponent's destroyed with three cards, so death is going to be a six cost. What's my opponent get? Gets Ant Man. That's not bad. I am Iron Man. I actually do like my options here. And a snap. Great. Good start. Victory. All right, start off with Nightcrawler. Agent 13, so automatically we suspect the dino. I'm gonna just go ahead and play armor to the danger room. Now nope, my opponent doesn't like danger room either. And I got the Hulk. Well, that's good. On reveal effects do not happen at nowhere. This player's name is Shane with uh, names that are very generic like that we often suspect that it's a bot. Not going to be able to play both Hulk and Spectrum. Oof, two rocks. Okay, well, I don't like the look of this one too much. I can move Nightcrawler over to Daily Bugle for a little extra power. I can play a rock there to activate the Ant-Man.
Yeah, if I drew Iron Man last round, I'd be in good shape. I can definitely win one lane with Hulk. I could move Nightcrawler to nowhere. But that's a very obvious play. My opponent is going to play something that with more than two power to nowhere. And so I don't see any way I can win this one. Let's see. Say I moved Nightcrawler to Daily Bugle. I'd be at 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, plus 3 if you count Spectrum. Then 5... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, there's no way. No way. We'll get away with the one cube loss. Okay, do I want to play for the Gamma Lab or not? I've got Chain Chi. So, I may throw one card there to get a Hulk and then plan on destroying my opponent's Hulks. So we'll play at Gamma Lab and Stark Tower. Maybe Shang Chi Lizard for the finisher. Alternately, I could have played Shang Chi there, or I could play him on turn five and play Spectrum on turn six for the finisher. But I like this line. Interesting, okay. I am Iron Man. All systems go. So we'll go actually now it looks like Shane Chi Nightcrawler Ant Man. I like my chances. All good. Victory. I'm liking this deck. I don't think there's anything particularly original about it. 
but it projects power into multiple lanes well with Claw and Spectrum. So here we've got Bar Sinister. Too bad it's not in the middle. Claw Iron Man would be very good. One card can be here per player. That's going to make this game interesting. And probably win that Space Throne with Claw on Bar Sinister. So how do I win whatever this location is? Baxter Building. Thinking Iron Man, Iron Man is going to play a role. Play Mr. Fantastic to Space Throne. Mr. Fantastic, Ant Man, and then we'll play Iron Man and Claw. See how it goes. Okay, so my opponent's playing Claw as well. I am Iron Man. Yeah, I'll snap too because I've got Spectrum, so I'm going to top him at Bar Sinister, and that's going to be insane buffs to Baxter building. So, I think it will be tough for my opponent to win. Unless something goofy happens here. Nope. It's fine. Alrighty. So far I like how this deck is played. I think it wins in more unpredictable ways than the Dino deck, so I prefer it to the Dino deck. The Dino deck is very powerful, but it's very predictable as well. The opponents usually can tell that's what you're playing. Warpath is going to go to the vault. Okay. And then I'm thinking Claw. Two Ruins and Iron Man. Hmm. Does that change things? Iron Man's now only worth five. I'm up by 9 on the ruins, up by 3. 
So I can go Captain America, Mr. Fantastic. Without the ability to play a 5-drop or Spectrum on turn 6, I'm not going to snap. So I'll be at plus 8 there, so 13 to 2, that's plus 11. 16 to 5, plus 11 at both places. It's pretty good. I probably could snap here. Hulk would top me. Destroyer would do it. Oh, Lizard minus two. I forgot about that. Well, we'll see if it's enough. Looks good. Looks good. I don't think I could have snapped in one, though. I think if I snapped, my opponent would have folded. Just neither of us had any good option there. Hobgoblin's a nasty card. At least in pool two. Yeah, I think if I snapped, my opponent would have folded. It's possible I could have and should have tried it, though. I want to play Colossus to negative zone. I think so, that's what he's for. He's a six drop there. On turn six, you can move to this location. Okay, that's, so that's going to be interesting. So I've got armor. Nightcrawler. Yep. Can't go to Hellfire Club. Okay. Interesting. Go Warpath, Ant Man. And leave the option of playing Iron Man to either lane. So this is going to be plus four. He'll be at nine. So that'll be 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Iron Man is worth 8. Unless my opponent plays 3 cards there. It would be 3 small cards and none of them will be Ant-Man as he's been played already. So let's take this line. Oh yeah. No problem. I am Iron Man. Victory. Going pretty well today. Yeah, I got no one drop for the raft. He 
pretty much have to try for the raft in my experience. Three, four, five, six. It's not great though. Shang Chi is not a very powerful four drop, except when he wins you the game. Is my opponent there? Okay, is he playing a movement deck? And he didn't want to stack up on the raft probably because movement decks usually don't like to stack the left location. This will be a difficult one for me to win. Spectrum will be mighty on round six, but okay, so he's Doctor Stranging the multiple man over. Right now he's only moving three more over to the raft on turn six if he plays Heimdall. I got Null. That is terrible. Absolutely terrible. So all he has to do is play Heimdall to Throne Room, and I lose. Is there any way I could move cards around to win? If he has Heimdall, I don't think there is, because I can't win Luke's bar. If I had gotten a powerful 6 drop, I could have, but he got one too, so... But mine would have been better with Iron Man. Escaped. So a, a really strong six drop combined with Iron Man on Throne Room. I would have stuck around. He would have moved Vulture away, moved multiple multiple man back. Eh. That would have been tough for me to win two locations there. Very, very tough. Lawson. I think I recognize that name. Got Taskmaster. He could be used to clone the Warpath. Plus five energy. Uh, okay, so that's gonna be claw. And Captain America. We'll, we'll throw them both on Stark Tower. I've got Nightcrawler, I can move him away. Opponent has three left in hand, okay. Avengers! Assemble. Is 
There's only one slot left open on the hub. So I like playing there. Thinking Taskmaster and then Iron Man on Stark Tower looks pretty good. Oh, my opponent just played Moon Girl, so actually they may be playing Devil Dino. I probably shouldn't have snapped. I may lose two cubes here instead of one if the Devil Dino comes down. Oh, rip Nightcrawler. But this looks pretty good for me. Iron Man gives me 34. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Okay, so definitely could be a bot. Most definitely could be. out of cards. Opponent has one. I have one. Oh, sad. I don't know if I want to do that this turn. It's only turn four. I'm gonna I value leaving this slot open open more than I do the two points at Superflow. But I do like my options here. So we're gonna snap. Ouch. Should be okay. Could be close. Okay, hold. No problem.
on a very good curve here. No two drop yet. Squirrels. Armor to protect the sunspot. Probably just concede that location. So I'm going to choose Captain America over Mr. Fantastic here. Mr. Fantastic Ant-Man or Lizard Ant-Man. Let's go Lizard Ant-Man and then it's going to be Claw Iron Man. So let's throw out Ant-Man here and then Claw with the option of Iron Man. No, Ant-Man goes there. Okay, Vibranium will be good for turn six. I think I save uh, Iron Man for the Vibranium Mines. Oh, my opponent's got Infinite. <laughs> uh, well. Now he can just put it Central Park. I'm revealing first, so I can't change to it. You got it. Infinite's very powerful, but it's not too difficult to tell when it's coming, which means I suspect that the cube, the average cubes are not going to be that high, unless you pay, play against a lot of people that aren't paying much attention. Player's name is Ethan. Moved Nightcrawler on the first turn. Bots always do that. The name is suspect. This is likely a bot. Likely a bot. Ongoing effects here are doubled. That would be very powerful if it was center or left. I can't use Claw there. I could use Iron Man there. I could use Warpath there. Actually might be worth playing to that lane instead. So I play Claw, Snap, be it plus 10 with the option of adding more if I need to, plus 
think it's just gonna be and let's see plus nine plus ten which lane needs more help there's two slots at there's two slots available at Atalan and the Odin would go there if he's got it. Let's try that. Did I not notice the vision on the table already, or did that come out this turn? Yeah, I may have played that badly. I may not have been paying close enough attention. to the right. To be honest, if I had remembered Blizzard, I would have put the Captain America on that side, and I think I would have been fine. If I'd remembered that Blizzard gets minus three. Interesting. Shang Chi gonna be useful. He's the same power as armor. Oh, it just plays a rock. So that swap makes no difference. Actually thinking about playing. Well, well, let's play Clark. Claw to Subterranea. What do you got, Shang Chi? Okay, that's not so bad. Up by eight. Got Iron Man. Looks good. Okay. Victory. Probably will still risk the Mr. Fantastic there at Danger Room. 
I could throw a Colossus there for guaranteed power. The Collector. So are you looking at Dino? Please live, Mr. Fantastic. Ray. So let's go claw at danger room. I think I need to project power to sewer system to try to win this. Because I suspect the dino is coming now. Okay, my opponent played claw as well. Well, how many cards does my opponent have in hand? Six, so if it's five, that would be a 13 power dino. 12, so that beats me at sewer system if he's got it. Shang-Chi armor puts, or Shang-Chi lizard puts 14 or 12 at sewer system and it'll be minus 9 minus 6. I actually like that a lot. It's not immediately obvious it's going to happen. So I don't think my opponent will necessarily see it coming. I mean, you never really see the Shang-Chi coming, right? differential. Victory. Okay, that seems like a good place to stop for now. So, made some good progress today. And thank you for watching.